Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will be playing Voxel Doom 2, maps 1 to 6. Yes, I will be playing Voxel Doom 2. Voxels are basically pixels but in 3D space, so it looks really natural in games like Doom. Voxel models for Doom and Doom 2 including enemies, items and things were made by Chilo and they look really awesome. This mod is only supported by GZ Doom as it requires proper 3D rendering, so I will stick to that source port for this project. In addition to that, we also have parallax textures on this mod, which create an illusion of depth when looking at certain angles. The textures basically have an additional pixel height map which is used to displace the pixels on rendering. Although this illusion breaks along the wall edges, so it is more of a personal preference. This feature can be turned off in the settings if you don't like how it looks. Next step in this direction is to render texture displacement as voxels, and actually this has already been done by Daniel Schroeder in his demo proof of concept project. Hopefully it will make its way into Doom as well at some point. And I'm also using mid the way it did midi pack to have some variety in music. So let's go! And here we have the chainsaw, and since the items are also 3D objects, the placement angle now matters. So let's chainsaw these guys. And look at that, see these clips? It's all 3D. Let's chainsaw everything because this is a GZ Doom, so chainsaw is much more efficient. Like this imp, and the zombie, and another imp. And look at these walls. And health bonuses. Everything looks 3D now. It's really, really cool. By the way, I can turn on any options to rotate the items, but I personally don't like it, so I just decided to turn it off. Nice. And let's grab the armor as well. And yeah, now you see how these items are placed, and their rotation as well. And look at these walls, you can see every nail or something sticking out of it. And these imps. Look at this mess. Nice. Then, let's find some more meat, like the imps here. And these walls look a bit like a fur on the walls. Let's press the switch. And as you can see here, the illusion breaks at the steep angle. Right, let's open the first secret. Kill some more imps. Grab some health and let's go take the rocket launcher. And kill the imps outside. Everyone knows about the secret, I think. Pretty nice music. Nice for a change. And look at this grass. Looks really soft. So satisfying. Really cool, and I also think they have the displacement for the water as well, so it looks a bit wavy. Also nice. Right, and I think that's it. Let's check the stats, and we got everything. Let's go to level 2. Entering underhulls. And since it's a GZ Doom, I can have an option for pistol start each level, which is really useful, so I don't have to restart all the levels manually. These enemies look really like bulky and a bit fat. That's also cool. And these bars were open, so maybe Zombie Man just opened them. Nice. Then, and look at these doors and screens. All of them look like 3D. Cool. Then let's move on. Should be shotgunner here. And now we get our first super shotgun in Zoom 2. First we need to kill some hit scan of course. Yes, nice. Finally. Now we can go and have some fun. And kill stuff much more effectively. And let's not die to the shotgunners in the second level of Doom 2. That would be a shame. I think should be more here, right? Oh, that was painful. Did you see the ouch face? And let's go kill everything else as well. Let's kill these guys and Pinky and the imps. Thank you, Pinky. And hopefully not take any more damage. Uh, no, I'm still running into projectiles as always. Right, then should be some more here and some health. Nice. 
then only one shotgunner teleported. Usually quite a lot more of them. Then let's go here. Kill these guys and look at that barrel. I think the explosion is also 3D. Let's see. Yeah, nice. Those imps are fat. Look at them. Such a mess. Cool. I like it. And everything here is dead. Now we're going here. Killing all the shotgunners. Come on. Nice. So let's check the stats. And I don't see them. One kill left. Where could it be? And I accidentally pressed the caps lock. Didn't expect to have a... Or maybe... Yeah, I just killed it. Completely missed this. Right. Next. The gauntlet. Right, let's kill the shotgunners. Then we grab the mega armor. Kill more stuff. And actually, I don't remember which version of the what I have, because... A long time ago I used to play 1.666, which didn't have some of the features. And I don't remember if I used the new one or the old one. We'll see. And I think in the new version, 1.9, there should be a teleporter here. Should be opened at some point. Looking at the misaligned text, it probably is. We'll see definitely outside. There should be a backpack. So now, we're having our first new enemy, the Chain Gunner. We want to let everything in fight. And now we can have a Chain Gun. For free. And let's go kill these guys as well. And you. And look at these props. These torches. Awesome. And you've probably seen some of the props already in the intro video. For the Doom The Way Did project. And I'm almost dead, so I think I need health. It's time to go for the supercharge over here. Uh, no, I missed it. <laughs> let's go like this. Right, and let's grab some 3D cells and 3D armor. And this looks a bit buggy. And also the supercharge, which is always facing you. I think it's the case for the, all the power-ups. And I didn't grab it for some reason, because I'm too sloppy. Right, now we're good. So let's kill some of the specters. And of course those specters doesn't look that good. Honestly I like more the original version, but of course these specters are also 3D models, like voxel models, so they look like this and we'll have to deal with it. I personally like more the original Doom Fuse effect. And look at that switch. Nice. And I think there should be some more enemies in this room as well. And this medikit. Cool. I never thought about how the some of the sprites could look from different directions. Right, and yeah, this teleporter, I don't remember if it was an original 1.66 version, but there should be a, yeah, backpack here. Right, so this is not a secret, and this is actually version 1.9 of the bot, which is good. Then let's move on. So now we need to kill all the pinkies. Right. Then let's go down, grab the bullets, kill more pinkies and specters, all this beautifully looking grass. Let's release more pinkies. We have enough shells for all of them. Come on. 
Okay, now it's time to blow up some imps. Usually I save in rockets for these imps. Right. And then the last enemy should be the Extrum. The pinky, I think. Yeah. Nice. Let's check the stats. And we got everything. Perfect. Next, the focus. And uh, now it gets a bit tricky because there will be a lot of hits come, of course. And pretty awesome music as well. I think this one is better than the original. And I want this chain gunner to come closer for his chain gun. Like this. Oh uh, no, that was painful. See that ouch face? Right, then let's be careful here because it's pretty deadly. And I think we can find some health here. Ah, uh, no. Right. Such a punchy music. Right, there should be some zombies here. Right. Then we can press the switch. And maybe kill some else as well. We lower the block key. And then we can move on. And let's kill the specter as well. I don't remember there were much darker in this room, and Spectre was almost invisible, especially with the Fuse effect. This Spectre is much more visible in this renderer, as a voxel model. Right, then let's go grab the Super Shotgun. Over here. Next, we go through the blue door. And I think it's not dark enough here to turn on the lights, but we can turn them on anyway. Looks cool in GZ Doom. Now let's kill all the imps here. Then there should be some more imps. And here we get the red key card. Nice. And now the final room. Go here, grab the yellow key. Then jump here, kill the specter. Then kill these guys. And maybe on the other side. Did you see that? <laughs> that was cool. And I think this teleporter brings me to the switch. Then we can jump. And here's the last enemy. And we can exit. And then level 5. The Waste Tunnels. Also pretty easy map. Let's grab the super shotgun, kill chain gunner, and these guys, and preferably not die. And I forgot to grab the chain gun. And this music is a bit depressing. Right, then let's go here, kill this hit gun as well. I want to grab the green armor. I think it was here, right? Yeah. Imps. No. Go away. Where did you go? Here you are. And look at this. Split. 3D split. Nice. Here we have probably more shells. Yeah. Doom 2 was the first game I was playing as a kid, so I think I remember these levels pretty well. We'll see. Let's actually go down and kill these imps here, because they will be missing when I will try to make the jump for the plasma. A lot of imps. It's been quite a while since I played Doom 2 last time. Then we go up. And go for the plasma. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Didn't mean to jump down like this. It's annoying. Right, so we go here, kill the shotgunners. Then should be some guys here as well. Imp, somewhere? Yeah, you, die. Then we go for the plasma. Over here. And I need super shotgun, not normal shotgun. Because it's more fun. Come on. 
All right. And look at the switch. And it's actually really pressed. Cool. And you can see almost every nail in this bar. Then let's move on. I think we can start shooting the imps. Nice, triple kill. And I'm almost out of shells. I think we also have a chain gun. Should be enough to kill this chain gunner. Then grab the berserk, the supercharge, and move on. This music is now getting better. In the meantime, maybe shoot some guys here. Or maybe go up and kill all the zombies. Since we're here anyway. And I need my shells. Where are my precious shells? Right. Then, actually, you know, let's go through this side. Grab the red key, maybe kill some of the souls, and now, actually, I need to go down again, because there will be a mega armor, I think. And some zombies I need to kill. Shotgunners, imps. Oh, here. It's look like a parking lot, right? So this opens the back door, then here we have more shells. Imp. And this opens the cave with the shotgunners and the mega armor, nice. And this opens the exit from this room. Nice. And then of course there are some hits gone in this caged room. More? Somewhere? You. And I think more here. And I forgot about these guys already. Right. Then we have more shotgunners. <laughs> that was fun. Then I think that's it for this room. Then here we can get the rocket launch, right? Yeah. Such a mess. We killed all the last souls already. I think that's it. Now we can go through the red door. And it should be first hall night in Doom 2. And this is how it looks dead. I never thought about it actually how this prize would look like on the other side. But it was well set up. Then getting to the last room. I think there should be some rockets. Nice. And now we kill zombies here and specters. And there should be, I think, four specters down there. And I think also Kakos. Well, let's kill these guys first. Or maybe just run. Because of the Kakos and shoot some rockets. Those 3D Kakos. They're so huge. Like flying meatballs. Cool. Let's kill Spectres here as well. And the Kaka. And now the last secret left is to jump over there. Like this. With some cells and rockets. And now we're good to go. I think that's it. Let's check the stats. And we got everything. Nice. Next, the Crusher. And this is the first a bit tricky level of Doom 2, because here we have the Revenant. And it will be tricky to kill him if you don't know how to dodge his projectiles. Then goes the Revenant. I really don't like them, because I don't know how to dodge and I don't have this skill yet, so I will have to learn rather quickly. Uh, no, almost dead. Let's go grab the Megasphere. Then there should be some more shotgunners. Imp. And I think that's it. No, you die. Now, look at this torch. Cool. Then we go down. And here is a spider mastermind. 
huge and gorgeous. Let's crush him. Uh, no, we don't. Come on. And in the meantime, we can... How can you shoot? You are getting crushed. <laughs> in the meantime, let's go up and grab the blocky. These bars are also looking cool. Come on, like this. Press the switch, lower the lift. Then go down. Maybe kill some imps in the meantime. We will grab this supercharge as well. And then let's go down. And I think I maybe want to grab plasma first to kill all these imps. Let's, in the meantime, kill some of the pinkies. Come on. Accidentally dodging imp projectiles as well. Right, then let's go grab the plasma. And go up and kill everything. We can also get some more cells in the rooms over there. So let's grab all the cells here. Then we go up. And through the blue door. And I think there should be like small ambush here with some chain gunners, which is really good because now we can have the chain gun. Right, like this. Then we go through the blue door. Let's get some imps. Grab more armor. And look at the switch. Nice. Now we move on. There should be some shotgunners up there. Next, we need to kill all of these imps. Quite a lot of them, actually. I think Doom 2 has, like, higher monster count. On average. Cool switch as well. Let's go down. Kill these guys. And then, let's go have some fun with the barrels. I'm talking about the secret, which I will grab pretty soon. But first I want to skip this revenant trap by just going like this. And you need to be careful because this is an inescapable pit. If you fell down, game was over. Uh, no, I failed this jump. Let's try again. It's a bit tricky, so you probably need to jump like this. Yeah, nice. Look at this. Let's blow everything up. Juicy. Then let's grab the rocket launcher. Nice jeeps, especially in voxels. Yeah, we grabbed everything. Nice. And a spare mega armor. Just in case. And then we can rocket the revenants. Nice. And you see, here we have the super shotgun, but you can barely see it because of the item rotation, which is now matters. Right, then we go up. And kill the imps. Nice. I love Super Shotgun. Ah, uh, of course, I skipped the red key. Oh well, completely forgot about it. And let's go back. Over here. Grab the red key and kill Spectres here. And grab cells, which is weirdly rotated. Good 100 cells. Finally, we go back up with the red key. As far as I remember, there should be the Hell Knight in this room. Yeah. No, you don't. Now let's kill everything, and just let's jump, kill these guys, and have some fun in the final room. But first need to kill all the specters. Usually forget about them. And I do remember that was a bit darker in this room. Come on. 
some more. This one. Uh, no, and I fell down. Where was the exit? Over here. Right, and then let's get the plasma and have some fun. First kill the hit scan, and then everything else. And I think that's it. Let's go check. One shotgunner left. Let's press the switch. Look at this mess. <laughs> right, and then the last enemy is the pinky. And then let's check the stats. And we got actually one secret left. Did I take the Mega Sphere secret? Yes, I did. I wonder what did I miss? Ah, of course, there was a pit over here, which is also Taka's secret. I never went here, yeah. Right, then we got everything. Completely forgot about this cove there. Right, so we go... Here, right. Let's go. Yes, that was the first part of Doom 2 series, and these voxel models are really making the game look much better and feel a bit different, because now you can see the enemy's size and feel how much space they occupy, and that makes a bit of a difference. See you in the next video.